Hi everyone, it's Lubna from All Mediterranean Taste Channel. Welcome back to a new recipe and a new taste. Today I'm making one of the most popular dish in the entire world and makes everyone so excited when you just say it's pizza day. Today I'm sharing with you how to make a perfect pizza with the best homemade pizza dough that requires a few ingredients and very little effort, but the result is spectacular. I have been making homemade pizza for many years and it's always a crowd pleasure. This pizza dough is the best you would ever try. It has a thin crust in the center with great and tasty puffed edges. The crust is crispy, chewy and so satisfying. It's a make-ahead pizza dough recipe you can prepare from 1 to 5 days before. The longer it stays in the fridge, the better it gets. I'm also going to share with you my favorite homemade white and red pizza sauce. Are you excited? I'm excited! So let's start! To prepare the dough, in your measuring cup, place 1 and 4 cups warm water, add 1 teaspoon honey, and 1 and a half teaspoon salt. Then stir to combine and dissolve. Sprinkle the top with half teaspoon dry yeast and let set to proof for 5 minutes. For the flour, you will need 1 2 3 cups all-purpose flour and 1 and a half cups white whole wheat flour or you can use 3 and a half cups all-purpose flour instead. In a large mixing bowl, place the flour and mix them to combine. Add 2 tablespoons extra virgin olive oil. Now stir the wet ingredients together then pour them in the center over the dry ingredients. Mix the ingredients with a wooden spoon or a firm spatula until the dough comes together. Now use your hands and knead the dough for 5 minutes until the ingredients are well blended. The dough will be sticky, but if you touch it with clean and dry fingertips, it should barely stick. Cover the bowl tightly with plastic wrap and a clean kitchen towel. And let it arise for 2 to 3 hours at room temperature or until it double size. Now sprinkle your work surface with fine semolina and transfer your dough over it. Then coat it lightly with the semolina or you can use the flour instead. Divide your dough equally in half. These ingredients make 10 to 12 inch pizza crust. Now start gently folding each piece of the dough 10 to 12 times by pulling the sides of your dough toward the center and put them together. Do not squeeze the dough. Repeat the same process by turning the dough each time. Keep your hands lightly floured so the dough doesn't stick to your hands. With the last fold, seal the edges of the bottom and form a ball of dough. Then place the seal bottom down. This is the best way to create the beautiful bubbles that we love in our pizza dough. Repeat the same process with the second piece of the pizza dough. Dust a large trail with fine semolina and transfer the dough balls over it. Brush the top with extra virgin olive oil to keep them from drying out. Cover the dough with plastic wrap and seal tightly the edges. Then place them in your fridge for at least 24 hours or up to 5 days. It helps to develop the flavors of the dough. Now I'm going to prepare the olive oil mixture. In a mason jar, Place 5 sliced garlic cloves 
1 teaspoon crushed chili pepper 1 teaspoon dry oregano 1 teaspoon dry basil 1 teaspoon dry crushed rosemary and 1 cup extra virgin olive oil Stir to combine, then place it in your fridge for up to 5 days to use it as a topping To prepare the red pizza sauce, place 1 cup crushed tomato sauce into a medium bowl Add 2 tablespoons extra virgin olive oil 1 teaspoon oregano 1 teaspoon sea salt and 2 crushed garlic cloves then stir to combine I do not cook my red pizza sauce because I don't want to lose the brightness of my crushed tomato sauce cover it with plastic wrap and place it in your fridge for up to 5 days for the white pizza sauce Place a medium saucepan over medium meat. Melt 2 tablespoons unsalted butter. Add 2 tablespoons flour and continue mixing with a wooden spoon or a whisk for 1 minute. Do not brown the flour. Slowly add 1 and a half cups whole milk and continue mixing constantly until it becomes thick, smooth and bubbly. Now add half teaspoon sea salt, quarter teaspoon black pepper, and two crushed garlic cloves, and continue mixing. Then add quarter cup parmesan cheese, and mix to combine. Turn off the heat and continue mixing till the cheese is melted and the sauce is creamy and smooth. Transfer the white sauce into a medium bowl and set it aside to cool. An hour before baking your pizza, pull your pizza dough out of the fridge to come to room temperature. Then place your pizza stone in the center rack of your oven. Then preheat your oven to the highest temperature. I set up mine to 500 degrees Fahrenheit for about 45 minutes before baking my pizza. Flour your work surface and dust your pizza pill with some semolina or some flour. When the pizza is at room temperature and your oven is preheated, transfer one pizza dough to your floured surface. Gently pat the center of the dough with your fingertips. Do not pop any bubbles. Keep pushing from the center toward the edges by forming a circle shape. When your circle reaches 6 inch diameter, lift the dough and place it over the back of your both knuckles. With both hands together, start rolling the dough over your knuckles and draw it in around the dough as you go. And keep 1 inch thicker crust border. Then place the pizza dough over the pizza pill and shake it a little to make sure it's not sticky. Now spread your favorite sauce over the pizza dough. I will start by spreading my homemade white pizza sauce first. Cover the top of your crust with the sauce except the edges. Then sprinkle a generous amount of shredded mozzarella cheese. Before it goes into the oven, I like to give it a quick shake to make sure it's not sticky. Repeat the same process of forming your pizza crust with the second pizza dough. Make sure you do not pop any of the bubbles and you have enough flowers on your hands while you are rolling your dough around. Now place some of the homemade pizza tomato sauce. Don't use a lot so the pizza doesn't get soupy. Just a nice coating for flavor. Drizzle 1 tablespoon olive oil. Then sprinkle a generous amount of the shredded mozzarella cheese. Some fresh baby spinach leaves Some cherry tomatoes cut into halves And a few slices of fresh mozzarella cheese Make sure your pizza is not sticking to your pizza peel by shaking it 
Now transfer your pizza to your hot oven and slide it off over the hot pizza stone. Then bake it at 500 degrees Fahrenheit for 10 minutes. When it's ready, it will have a nice golden color, the edges will be puffed and the cheese will be bubbling. Transfer the pizza to your cutting board and let it cool slightly before serving it. Repeat the same baking process with your second pizza. Make sure your oven is still hot at 500 degrees Fahrenheit and your pizza stone is hot inside your oven. Remove your second pizza from the oven when it gets this beautiful golden color and the cheese is bubbling. Then let it cool slightly over your carrying board before serving it. Now it's time to taste this fabulous pizza. While the crust is crisp and the cheese is melty, this is the perfect crust, thin in the center and puffed on the edges with this wonderful bubbles and amazing texture. And with the flavorful olive oil on top, it's just so satisfying. This crust is irresistible and it's loaded with so many flavors. The pizza with the homemade Alfredo white sauce is my family's favorite and it's always disappeared so fast in less than 5 minutes so yummy bon appetit this is a great recipe to make a homemade pizza like a pro and you can prepare all the ingredients ahead of time I hope you enjoyed watching my video today if you like this pizza recipe share it with all your friends and family you can also follow me on Facebook and Instagram the links are in the description box down below with my email address. You will also find all the ingredients and the steps to make this recipe. And before you leave, don't forget to click the little circle on the right to subscribe to our channel and check out my other recipes on the left. Thank you for joining me today in my kitchen. And I see you next time with new taste and a new recipe. Bye!